You ever lose, lose your keys? All the Lock time, your keys unfortunately. Out of the car? It is that uh-oh moment, locking your keys inside of your car or your house. But before you pick up a phone to call up a locksmith, Three on Your Side's Gary Harper tells you how not to get ripped off. Yeah, when you lock your keys in your car, it's a horrible feeling. And the first instinct you might have is to get on your phone to find a locksmith to get those keys out. But that could be the worst thing you can do because you don't know really who's showing up. Gary Harper from Channel 3 News. Yeah. How are you good. doing? Three on your side has confronted locksmith several times before, like in this encounter. You can call them and check it out. I've already talked to him. He's oh. really mad at you. In fact, yeah, he's it's... putting out this flyer saying that you're a phony, phony locksmith. That's it's you. That's you. No, it's not me. You can check it out. Yeah, I've already checked it out. I'm yeah. talking to you. But you're running, away. you're running away. In this report, this guy claimed to be a locksmith, and after doing a minor job for a consumer, he stuck her with a $1,000 bill. But the locksmith we talked to say that this should not have cost almost $1,000. Uh, I don't care. Every locksmith has the different price, and this is the price for the company that I work with. Price gouging in the locksmith industry has been a problem for years, and it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. Just ask Sky Johnson, a 17 year old high school student. He charged my bank account for $289 instead of $55, which is what I originally signed for. Sky recently locked her keys and her softball bag in the trunk of her car here at this Tempe softball field. After calling around for a locksmith, she found herself talking to a company called 24-7 Locksmith Services, which, according to Sky, told her it would only cost $55 to come out and get her keys from her trunk. She agreed, but once the job was done, she had sticker shock. He came back and handed me my credit card and then two receipts with, with, with additional, like, I think it was like $185 charge. But Sky says it's the way she was duped that consumers need to watch out for. She says when the locksmith first arrived, she handed over her debit card as requested and signed a receipt for $55. However, after the job was done, the so-called locksmith tacked on all kinds of additional fees and charges, amounting to a total of $289. That's certainly a lot more than the $55 quote that she was given. Charlie Eastwood isn't surprised at all. You called out this criminal that did this or did that and inflated the prices on the on the work order after the, he ran the customer's credit card with them thinking it's going to be one price and now suddenly it's exponentially higher. Charlie is a professional locksmith who's known in the industry as Locksmith Charlie. He's been in the business for 25 years and says what happened to Sky is a common problem. But when somebody's given one price and then when whoever comes out is trying to browbeat you into paying something exponentially higher, that's called bait and switch and it's consumer fraud. Locksmith Charlie says to avoid becoming a victim, you should have the name and number of a reputable locksmith handy before you ever need it. For instance, plug it into your cell phone or write it down somewhere. And when it comes to signing paperwork... If they say, okay, uh, service call, $55, Put your signature on the line immediately below that line item. Then if they try to add stuff later, you could say, hey, I only signed for the first line item. They added all this crap on later. I didn't agree to it. As for the company Sky called 24-7 Locksmith Services, well, they told Three in her side over the phone that Sky's making the whole thing up and abruptly hung up the phone. But Three on Your Side couldn't help but notice the toll-free number listed for 24-7 Locksmith Services is the exact same toll-free number on the shirt of that so-called locksmith who ran from Three on Your Side in our previous report. Sky says someone needs to be watching the locksmith industry more closely. If I could make 300 bucks in two minutes, I would be doing it all day. Well, a little bit of good news to report, and that is Sky's Bank, which is Chase Bank, after our involvement, they decided to adjust her account, and they only charged her for $55, all those extra fees. Chase adjusted it and gave her the money back, which I really appreciate. In the meantime, if you're trying to find a legitimate locksmith, just go to our website at azfamily.com, and I'll have a link there for you. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side. Some good information, Gary. Thank you.